House of Light by Amanda Gorman. Hi, I'm Megan Beyer, former director of the President's Committee on the Arts and Humanities, and poetry lives here. We know a nation of states depends on the state of the arts, a beacon which deepens our appreciation of education, a task which is no better deserved than in serving the underserved. Art is not a luxury, but a right that one might make a way out of no way, write one's way out, so they will see one day that art is always mystical, but need not be a mystery. It's no nicety, but instead a necessity. Every child moved by art is a victory, inspired to learn history, but also make it, shape it, speak it, until the world glows with the sound. I found people sometimes say, in a world that is sick and dying, what's the use in trying to fund poetry, dance, music, art, song? I smile, because they're wrong. Art has been here all along. It's what makes a people strong. Creativity will always belong at the center of the throng, at the center of civilization, at the heart of a nation's word, because we need art just as much as the blood needs a beat, just as much as flesh needs heat, or the gut needs to eat. We stand for expression. We support access to the arts, not because we could, not because we should, but because we must. If just for a moment to see a world that is a work of art. We've known in our bones that arts and education matter. They make a ladder where we can lift as we climb. I'm chiming in because tonight is about responsibility, our ability to create cre courageously, to teach audaciously, to learn graciously, maybe a little outrageously in the pages we pen, the stages we transcend, in the places we defend and the rules we bend, each of us a never-ending ray of a new day drawn into dawn by the arts and education we stand upon. In this craft, we observe how the burdens braved by humankind are also the moments that make us humans kind. Tonight, we fan the wick, the path of a new work, a new story, well lit for anyone brave enough to tell it.